Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick little comparison video here with the Sony Xperia Z1 versus, or Z2, I mean, sorry, uh, versus the Huawei S&P 7. And uh, it's pretty interesting because the Huawei is actually one of the more coolest devices that I ever have tried out uh, with amazing software and everything. Um, so let's compare these a little bit. So first of all, both here are in a cool glass material here on both sides actually also on the back side as you can see and uh, the cool thing here with the Sony Xperia Z2 is that it has this little thing uh, on the sides which makes it so it doesn't move around that much when you are on the table surface but this one's a little bit more like the iPhone 4 and the 4s so when you put it down like this it kind of moves around could get a little bit annoying I mean I'm just saying uh, so you know that might not be what you want uh, you do have an 8 pixel camera on the back which is very very nice you can see how thin it is here compared to the uh, uh, Xperia Z2 And also from what I've heard, uh, I mean, I'm probably going to do more, more videos with comparisons, but uh, the sound on this one, if I can recall, is way better, actually, overall. And this one is a little bit lower. And I mean, but this one has a little bit bigger display, if I'm two inch, yeah. Uh, but do you really need that? It, it's, it's so, it feels so much bigger. It feels like such a bigger phone used to have that 5 and 2 inch display instead of 5 inch display. Now, also, we agreed here, uh, they probably could have removed this one this piece, Huawei, uh, but it doesn't really feel annoying, you know, uh, because it's not that big, and uh, that's quite nice. Uh, if we um, move on here, I mean, you can also see that this one has a black space here, but it doesn't have anything there. Uh, both are quad-core smartphones, 1.8 gigahertz uh, quad-core here, A9, very, very good, not the quad is A7, which a lot of mid-range devices have, uh, which kind of sucks. Uh, but this one has a very very good chipset for even for gaming this one has obviously the uh, even better chipset Snapdragon 801 2.3 gigahertz quad but both these two phones runs amazing in menus uh, you don't get an app drawer here on the, um, the P7 uh, and you can see that this one has adopted a little bit more of the iPhone design no app drawer so uh, that is uh, pretty interesting and then also the like the Samsung way here with a lot of toggles uh, on the Xperia Z2 you have to go tap on quick settings here or maybe you can also do two finger tap or yeah if you swipe down with two fingers here you should get quick access to to this quick settings area but it doesn't seem to be working every time both have uh, on-screen buttons So as you can see here, and you can close all, which is one tap on both these two devices. A little bit quicker there uh, on the um, uh, on the uh, Xperia Z2, and both have themes you can immediately go to. Here you can just go into themes here. Uh, so the Xperia themes are a little bit more like color focused here. Uh, while the themes here on, let's say, a, a, a P7 is um, kind of changing the UI a little bit more, uh, changing all of the icons. So you can see now I'm just uh, changing to a quick little theme here. Uh, this is a gentleman theme here on the P7. You can see it also changes the lock screen here. So, I mean, I gotta say, I mean, the Aston P7 is a great device. Uh, 6.5 millimeters thickness. It really is an amazing device. Uh, this one is also amazing, but is it really worth that much? Uh, one of the key reasons why it might would be worth a little bit more than pricing is because it is a water and dust resistant. It can handle that very, very good, uh, which could be quite nice for, for a phone, actually. It's also nice how Sony have uh, fixed the... Um, the viewing angles on this one compared to uh, uh, compared to last year uh, with the Z1 and the Z2 which had pretty horrible viewing angles it also have of course an amazing camera 20 megapixel camera 
which easily will like crush the one that you're gonna get on the P7. But as I said, the P7 is an impressive device for its pricing and everything. Um, it would be amazing also if they could remain that thickness that the P6 had, uh, which was a thickness of, um, uh, how much was it? Uh, yeah, 6.1 millimeter thickness. I mean, that was, that truly was amazing. Uh, let's just see if we can fire up the um, camera app here. And I am just going to go to, let's see here. Where can we go here? Let's see. Uh, the camera is pretty interesting. I mean, they have kind of like a beauty mode, uh, which basically means that it will smooth out your face when you're taking pictures. And I can immediately see here that it's not as good, it's not as impressive, but still it's okay. I mean, it's, it's an okay experience overall. I mean, definitely not something you can commit or major thing you will be complaining about with that little thing. Uh, so um, I really hope that the Huawei can continue on doing amazing devices. As well as Sony, I mean, they really did a great job here with the Z2. I didn't think it would be that nice uh, compared to um, uh, compared to the Z1, but really is a great one in terms of design and the, the better display and all of those things. So yeah, just quickly a video here. You can decide for yourself which one you want.